Okay guys, Double Diamond Railroad here with a rival track series number uh, 19, I think, that we're on now. And got these two items in the mailbox today. First one, oil tanks. Plastistruck oil tanks, in scale. And they're a lot smaller than I thought they would be. Silver, I'd like to paint them white. And it's kind of hard to see the depth. It's not too much. So these are like those low profiles that they build in mounds. And I'm thinking the way they look, I haven't tried it. I think you can double stack them. So I think I'll take the four and make it into two tanks of a medium height. So we're going to try that. And I'd like to paint, glue them together and then paint them white. Maybe I'll pick up another set if it works out that way. And then we got... The um, push drill with an extra collet. Never had one, always won one. Saw runs, trains, and things using one for drilling the ties out, nail holes out on the ties. Instead of using power drill, I snapped my tiny little bit with my electric drill. So I hope to have better control with this. And we're going to, I held off on the switch repair replacement until I had this thing so I could drill some precision holes. I have a new bit for it. So we're going to give that a shot. And then uh, I just finished up my GP40s. I have two of them, Wheeling Lake Erie, and the snow plows, they just snap on, they popped off. They caught on something, so I've had them stored for a year. I found those when I was moving all my storage down to my new shelving. And I found those two plows, so I come up here one at a time and got them on. I managed to get one on by myself and used my faller glue, tacked them on there, and they're solid. Then my wife did the second one because it didn't want to fit too well. We got it tacked on, let it dry. Took them back down, set them on the layout for later. I'll have to check the height, see if it catches on the new switch or anything else on the layout, run it around. Make a full circuit and see if it catches on anything. I think before it was just hanging there, pointed down because it wasn't solid in the holes. They were loose. So I think now that we tacked them up level, should clear everything. Had to get on rails and see. So that's what we did today. I don't know what else we're going to do. Uh, just so no. Listening to trains on Broadcastify. And beautiful weather outside, but 31, so we're getting up almost above freezing. Time for lunch. Catch y'all later. Have a good day. Double Diamond Railroad out.